Hey Scorpio, it's a hard stars with the Loom Astrology doing your December 2019 tarot reading. I already pre-shuffled the cards. I'm just going to cut them. I hate shuffling on the camera and I don't know if you guys really like hearing all that, but it, it does take a long time to do it and I just figured I would do it this way. So let's take a look and see what December 2019 has for you. I'm going to flip the bottom one. We got the medicine wheel. I'll get into that in a second. We got the king of swords. So some of you may be looking for some healing with an air sign person, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But we'll find out more. So let's take a look and see what we got out of this mix. Scorpios for December 2019. All right, so over here, we got an air sign person that wants to heal things with you, okay? Or you want to heal with them. We got Indy. This is an indecision. Some of you are indecisive about this person. You really don't know if you want to give them a chance. You're definitely indecisive about it. And yeah, we got the fog veiled. There's confusion surrounding this person, some uncertainty. This could be a friend, a family member, or a lover. Um, but I feel like they want to heal things with you and you're indecisive about them. And you feel confused or maybe uncertain. And I also feel like they are unsure about what the heck's going on with you. They want to know What's going on with you, Scorpio? Okay, this is for some of you. Some of you may have already reconnected or some of you may be doing well with your air sign. This is just for those of you that this resonates with, okay? So let's take a look and see. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. All right, we got rain dance, which is trying to make something happen through ritual. <laughs> some of you are doing some magic or dancing to get to make this happen. Okay, so some of you, let's take a look at the full picture before I say anything else. Wow, this one's been coming out a lot. Somebody wants to express in this open and receptive. So somebody's been, you walked away from somebody. And I think they've been trying to do everything they can to get you back. And they've been reflecting about it and they want to try to emotionally connect with you. Okay, this could be vice versa. It could be, okay, it could be the other person, but I'm feeling this for you right now. Um, like somebody just gave up and was like, you know what, I'm, I'm done, I'm moving on from the situation. It could be with this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, that you've been indecisive in the fog about. You walked away from them. They want to reconnect with you. They've been trying to do a rain dance to get you. They've been heavy in reflection, or you've been reflection, reflecting on them. But you've been trying to make it happen with this rain dance, or they have. As above, so below. Temperance. Yeah, somebody's seeing it from another perspective. We got topsy-turvy and the full moon completion. Whoa. This is a cause and effect card. As above, so below. It's it's like, it's basically saying like, and with this balance, there was some sort of imbalance that a lot of you weren't happy with. And now you have a new perspective on the situation and you're done and it's over. Okay, this is going to be for some of you. Not for all of you. Again, if you're happy with your partner, this isn't for you. Okay, I always get people complaining like, or for the cross watcher. Um, but for some of you, you got a new perspective on something and it's done. Okay, and then we have an open book and a nine of pentacles in reverse. 
release again. Whoa, Scorpios. Oh. Somebody's very emotional. And I think they want to be open with you about how they feel. But again, I'm seeing... They don't want you to be single, okay? They want to tell you how they feel. But I feel like although it was emotional and hard for you, you release them because I saw that here. But they don't want you to go. And they are feeling it. They're feeling like you you're done. <laughs> And I think you were open with how you felt and what you wanted and what you expected with them. Whoever this is, a friend, a family member, just take it how it applies, okay? Ooh, we got the F word. Did some of you tell somebody, oh, somebody was emotional and really let somebody have it here, okay? But the F word actually stands for whatever you find fit, okay? Um, it could be a friend. It could be anything. It Actually, in this deck, it doesn't mean what we think it does. But it can because that's just the first impression you get. Um, you guys were very upset and let somebody have it. Okay? And it could be with a water sign, a cor uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or an air sign person over there. Um, and said, forget it. <laughs> okay? Forget it. But we got the Singer of Chalice, which is about... Wanting to reconnect, wanting a connection, emotional expression, and breach. Ooh. Somebody really crossed the line with you here. Somebody crossed the line with you, and somebody wants to have a breakthrough back with you. Somebody crossed the line, and whoever crossed the line wants to reconnect with you and is willing to go out of their norm to do so out of their normal behavior to do so. Whoa. Yep. And I'm seeing that you guys are fed up with somebody and now you have a new perspective and you're over it. This is for some of you, okay? If this, like I said, if, it, if, you're, in, if you're happy with your partner and you guys are in communication and everything's great, then you know what? Or if you're still hanging on to them and you still like, you know, want them to reconnect with you, they are going to. They're trying. I just see somebody trying and somebody saying no. So in December, if you you had separation or you had it out with somebody and you like let them have it, and now you're like stronger, or maybe they are and they're they're it could be reversed. But I see somebody wanting to try to Try to hold on and make it work and somebody saying no. And somebody just like over it, spending time going, you know what? No, it's it's not. I'm done. And somebody crossed the line here that there's no going back here for, for some of you Scorpios, for the ones that this resonates with. So I guess we'll have to see what happens in the next reading um, because... I'm kind of full here, but I'll get it. Um, let's see if I can get a... Let me get an Oracle card for you guys. I just see somebody wanting to work it out and somebody not. Somebody really going, uh-oh, and, and somebody else saying, yep, that's right. Uh-oh, it's done. It's completed. I'm over it. Scorpio, December 2019. Wow, we got a healing card, definitely. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Some of you really are over it and healed from it already. Truly, okay? If this doesn't resonate, check out your rising sign or your moon sign, okay? I'm just saying that because some people will be like, I, I don't want it to be over. I see it not being over. Somebody trying, but I see some of you totally over it. Okay? And then we got 
illusion, embrace the truth. Hmm. And Peacock, raise your standards. I love this card. <laughs> Just because we should all have the highest standards when it comes to love, that's for sure. So whatever this person did and you're over it, good for you because it looks like it wasn't good. Um, but, you know, people can change. I don't know what's going on with this, so I'm not going to advise you. You decide for yourself. They definitely want to work it out with you. But I just see somebody saying no. All right, Scorpios, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you all the best as always. Um, do check back for my other readings. If you haven't subscribed, please do and click the bell. Um, if you like your own personal reading regarding your own situation um, or specific love reading or an astrology reading, you visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Again, thanks so much for joining me. Until next time.